Hey everyone, welcome to Bird Feed. My name is Trish and today I'm doing a collaboration with Robin from Matman and Robin YouTube channel. We've both packed a veterinarian Barbie themed shoebox for Operation Christmas Child, but neither of us knows exactly what the other has packed. So it'll be a surprise to us as well. If you're not already familiar with Robin, she encourages, inspires, and includes you in making shoeboxes year-round for Operation Christmas Child. So after this video, head on over to her channel and check her out. I'll leave the link to Matt, Man, and Robin below in the video description. As most of you know, I typically use standard shoeboxes and wrap them, which is what I've done here. Wrapped it in Hello Kitty wrapping paper. And this is seven and a half inches wide by 12 and three quarter inches long. So just slightly smaller than a plastic OCC box. And you're not going to believe what all I fit into it. This has been packed for a five to nine year old girl. And like I said previously, the theme is veterinarian Barbie. I decorated the inside of the lid with some packaging of something that I've got inside. I'm going to go ahead and pull out all these books first because there's a lot and I couldn't lay them flat in the bottom of the box like sometimes I do. And there's a look at how thick that is. <laughs> that was a lot to fold over the top, but I did it. Um, she's got, of course, a composition notebook. I gave her a lavender one. And a Barbie You Can Be a Vet book. It's a little storybook. It's very cute. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it was just perfect for this shoebox. Big pictures, very colorful. If she can't read the words, you know the drill. She'll make up a story. And maybe she's learning English and can practice her English with that. I gave her an I Draw Pets, the beginner drawing book. Very simple illustrations on how to draw these cute little pets. And I gave her some plain paper so she could practice drawing when she runs out. I think they give her a little bit of space in here, but I think one, one page per pet. So I gave her one of these. Um, I couldn't fit a thicker uh, sketch pad in there, which is what I originally had, but that'll get her started. Uh, she's got a Barbie jumbo coloring book. This also came from the Dollar Tree. A lot of fun il illustrations with Barbie and some pets are in this book. And so that packaging that I showed you that was on the inside of the lid is from a giant poster, which is what this is. It's a Barbie, you can be a vet poster, and it's huge. It's like three feet by three feet when it's opened up, and um, it's to color. It's a coloring poster, and this is what it looks like when it's totally opened up. The, the packaging was very stiff, and with all the other books that I had to fold over the top, I was unable to include the packaging in the, in the box, so I just used it to decorate. So she's got something else to color, and Silly Pets sticker faces, and there's stickers included to make the Silly Pets faces. And this came from the Dollar Tree around Easter time. Very cute, and there's stickers in the back as well. She has an adorable little outfit that I have just been waiting to put into a shoebox. It's a little pink lace romper. So it's like a polyester on the inside with a lace overlay. It's really nice quality for Dollar General. This is where it came from. They don't carry clothes anymore, but this is back when they did carry clothes. 
It was on clearance. You're not going to believe it. Oh, I took it off already. For 81 cents. <laughs> that was a deal. This happens to be a size 1012. But I think it is probably very forgiving with that elastic waist that it can blouse over quite a bit and uh, be worn by, you know, several different age girls. She's got a couple pairs of underwear in an organza bag. One's a girl's size 8 and one is a girl's size 10. And a couple pairs of socks. And both of these have puppies on them. Puppy with glasses and a puppy with sunglasses. I would imagine most veterinarians have their own pets. So this little girl has a little kitty. Very cute, sweet, soft, cuddly kitty. But she's also got a couple of dolls. And one is a Barbie and one is a Ken doll. So I've given her a friend. And inside this Barbie case, of which one of the Barbie dolls came in, I packed it full. Let me unpack it all. It's amazing how much these cases hold. <laughs> I hope I can get it back the way it was. First of all, she has a Barbie in scrubs, just ready to go to work as a veterinarian. She has long black hair. She didn't come in the scrubs. Uh, this was a Barbie outfit that I had. I also had a lab coat, but um, the dress she came in is this one. And because it had long sleeves, I couldn't get the lab coat over her arms. Uh, I think it was meant for a sleeveless dress. This also has a little necklace with it. So she's got that outfit, which is the outfit that came on the doll, and of course her work clothes. And then I gave her one little more outfit, and this outfit is from Nancy. Nancy sent uh, a package of three different outfits for Barbie dolls, and they were all these really fashionable black and white outfits, and this is a jumpsuit, and I've tried it on her. It fits her perfectly, and she looks very sharp in it. So she's got one Barbie and two extra outfits. Now, this happens to be a flat-footed Barbie, so she doesn't have another pair of shoes because I don't have any more flat-footed shoes for Barbie. But she does have a friend. This is Ken with some wild red plaid pants and very cool fashionable shoes and a fashionable pink hairdo. And this Ken can get dressed up in an outfit that Joan sent. She sent a package of three Ken doll outfits. And I've given him this one. It's a pair of jeans with this plaid shirt and some very cool boots. So this little girl will have a Barbie and a Ken that she can change their clothes and I think have a lot of fun with. And in this pet carrier, Barbie has a puppy. She also has another puppy not in the pet carrier. So she's got two puppies, a pet bowl, a pet brush, a pet bed, and of course the pet carrier. And this was a little Barbie set that came from the Dollar Tree. It's very cute. She's also got a couple of Hot Wheels cars. One is a Barbie car and the other is a pink truck. 
and I gave her a pink whistle on a lanyard. And the last thing that was in that case is a Barbie toothbrush that came with this Barbie cup, which I didn't fit in that case, and a cap. Now, the toothbrush cap has a lenticular on it with Barbie and a puppy, just so happens. So that was perfect. That came from the Dollar Tree as well. Oh, she also has a ball that kind of ran away and went under the kitty's belly. It's a high bounce ball from Linda Hitchcock. She's got a cool pair of sunglasses that I slipped into this pretty case from the Dollar Tree. It's like a vinyl case, one of those that snaps open with hearts and hugs and kisses on it. And inside her sunglasses are pink and aqua. These are the, I think they're the X Game brand, the ESPN X Game brand. These were on clearance for $1 at Walmart last year. And I think they work perfectly with her outfit. In a couple other organza bags, she's got some hair accessories and some jewelry. In her hair accessories, I slipped a pretty floral pink hair bow that goes nicely with her romper. She's got an elastic headband from Joan, the kind with the gripper, that goes well with that bow if she wants to clip it on there in case she doesn't have enough, enough hair for a hair bow. She might be able to wear it with a headband. She's got some hair elastics from Angie in assorted colors. Some butterfly clips in assorted colors. And some hair barrettes in assorted colors. Some of these hair barrettes, like the blue ones and the sparkly pink ones, came from a viewer friend. And the cute Dalmatian puppy snap barrette came from Annabeth. Then in her jewelry bag, she's got a cute little jewelry set that I picked up on Shein that has uh, enameled kitty earrings, an enameled kitty necklace, and a ring. This was, I think, a dollar. And of course, I'm sure I paid less than that for it, as I usually do. But I thought that would be pretty with her outfit. And she's got a couple of bead bracelets from Karina and a couple of friendship bracelets with an enameled kitty and puppy. Let's see if we can get that puppy from Stacy Berry. Then I also gave her a few pairs of earrings. One pair is a silver bow and the other pair is a yellow enameled bunny. Oh, she's also got one more headband, and it's a little bunny-eared plastic headband in that pink. And a kitty compact mirror that I picked up recently at the Dollar Tree with the glasses on. I thought that was cute. She's got something that every veterinarian should have, and that's a stethoscope. And this is a working stethoscope. It's a kid's stethoscope, but it, it works. And it was contributed to this shoebox by a viewer, a mystery viewer. There was no gift receipt in the box, so I'm not sure exactly who sent it, but I love this. Okay, I went ahead and put it all together for you guys, but I think I'm going to have to take it back apart in order to pack it. Isn't that cool? It looks like a real stethoscope, and it works, but it's kid size. 
I love that. So thank you to whoever sent that. And then I added in the bag just some toys that came from the Dollar Tree in a little doctor's set. It's like a fake syringe, tweezers, and a little hammer. So she'll have some tools of the trade. Then let's see what else we've got in here. She has an assortment of school supplies, eight pencils and three pens, red, black, and blue. A pair of scissors contributed by Joan, seven inch scissors. A six inch ruler contributed by Angie. The mesh pencil pouch was also contributed by a viewer. And then she's got a couple of pencil sharpeners. She has erasers in a separate package because they didn't fit well in her pencil case without making it too lumpy. So she's got cap erasers and a regular big eraser. This one says great job on it. And a couple of novelty erasers, a kitty and a pig, and some puzzle erasers from Denise L, a kitty and a puppy. She's got a cute little self-inking stamper that tucked neatly into a little cranny. I'm going to leave it in the package uh, because it says what it is and I don't want it to accidentally pop open and get ink on anything. It's a little kitty and it has a paw print stamper on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, a little bit. She has a jump rope, some crayons to color with. I couldn't fit a whole box, so I took out an assortment of eight colors for her. It fit a lot better in the box that way, and she's also got a dozen colored pencils because she's got a lot of things to color and draw, so she'll need that. She's got a game. I gave her Crazy Eights card game. It's two in one memory and Crazy Eights game, and it has a puppy dog on the front of it. Just got a little hygiene package, a pink comb from a viewer, a nail clipper, some emery boards, a couple of mending kits from Joan, and there are some Build a Bear band aids in there as well. I put together a little bitty bead kit for her. It's got some elastic and also some metallic non-elastic cording at the top of it. And the beads are a couple colors of blue, uh, pink, clear, and white. She's got some glow-in-the-dark googly eyes just for fun and because they fit into a little nook and cranny. I gave her uh, an assortment of stickers. She's got some puppy stickers and more puppy stickers with hearts. Kittens and puppies, goldfish, paw prints, birds. And then we've even got some horses, geckos, and hamsters. And what else? Bunny rabbits on these. So she's got a nice assortment of different animal stickers that she would be taking care of if she was a veterinarian. And I also gave her some puppy and kitten lenticulars. These were from a Valentine's Day package a couple years ago, as a matter of fact. And then her tote bag is a little kitty, a little black cat that stuffs into its own little kitty pouch so that she can carry some of this stuff home. So that's the Barbie veterinarian box that I've packed for a five to nine year old girl with the generous help of some viewers. I hope you were inspired. And if you like this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.